Hello everybody, welcome back again to a new Ross questions and answers video. In the video of today I'm going to be addressing a question that I have received two or three times in these last days, so I want to create a video about it to show how to do it, because it's, it's very simple, and it's uh, how to plan uh, for move it for a name it pose. So when you create a movie package, you can set some predefined name it poses. And so how can you plan for one of the of those uh, name it poses in movie with code? In this case, we are going to do it with Python code. And for that, I'm going to be using today the Robot Ignite Academy. So yeah, I'm going to open the Robot Ignite Academy. And I'm going to go to the manipulation course, to the ROS manipulation in 5 days course, which is here. So let's open this course. That's it. And I'm already here in the chapter 4, in the unit 4, which is perform motion planning programmatically, yeah, with Python. So yeah, let's wait uh, a few seconds until the unit loads, until the world environment loads. And as you can see, I'm here in the in the Ignite Academy. Here I have the notebooks uh, where each I can follow them in order to learn. I have here also the exercises. Here I have the IDE to manage my files. Here I have the web shell, and, and here I will have a simulation of a fetch robot in this case, which is still loading. There it is. And yeah, so basically. For this unit, the first thing you need to do is to create a, a move it package for a fetch robot, for this fetch robot, yeah? It's this exercise 3.1, and it asks here to create a couple of named poses. One, it is start, and the other one is home, yeah? You can see here how these poses look like, yes? So, yeah, I have already created here my move it uh, package, which is this one here, my fetch movie config. You can come here and create it if you don't know how to do it or, or you you try to create it but you have problems. You can come here also to the solution. You have a video here showing how to do that, how to create a movie package for the fetch robot. There it is. So you can follow this video if you have problems creating the movie package. And yeah, so let me open a moment this uh, movie package for for the fetch robot so that I can show the the name it poses so I'm going to open the setup assistant and I'm going to come here and open the graphical interface uh, window there we are and now here I'm going to choose the edit existing movie package so that I can have a look at the my fetch move it config package. There we are. So let's load the files here. And here you can see several options here in the left menu. And where you can define these name and poses, it's here in the robot poses uh, tab. So inside here, as you can see, you can set several name and poses. I have here one for a start, as you can see which is this pose here, another one for home, which is this one here, and a couple for the gripper for open and close. Okay, in this case, uh, my robot is already in the home position, as you can see. There it is. As you can see, the robot, the ro robot arm of the fetch robot is already in the home position. So we can try to plan, for instance, for this start position which, as you can see, it has the the arm unfolded. So, yeah, okay, let's close this. I don't need this anymore. Uh, yeah, I want to close it. Great. So now let's just execute this command here in order to raise the fetch torso. As you can see, this is uh, for being able to plan better because in this position, as you can see, the, the arm is very close to the base of the fetch robot, so it may have some difficulties in order to do some plans. So I'm going to raise this 
this torso, the fetch torso, so that the zone here for the army is cleared. Yeah, so for performing better plans. So yeah, let's execute this command and let's wait until it it starts executing and it raises fetch torso. And down here, as you can see in the unit, you have uh, instructions, yeah, and explanations on how to do plans for 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 a robotic arm, how to plan trajectory, and you basically have two methods explain it here, yeah. Here, this one, for instance, is to set a pose for the end effector. Yeah? So you set a pose for the end effector, which it's the gripper in this case. You set the gold pose for this end effector, and then move it will plan uh, all the kinematics, all the movements, in order to reach that goal. Yeah? And the other method is basically by setting uh, values to each joint of the arm. We have it down here. Here it is, to planning to a joint space goal. So here basically it's to set values to the joints. As you can see here, I'm setting uh, this value, minus 1.5, to the joint number 5. Yeah? You can set here uh, values for uh, different joints, the joints you want, and then move it will plan the trajectory associated with that values for each joint. Okay? But yeah, so <clears throat> let's for instance take I don't know this first code as an example. So let's copy this code here. There we are. And yeah, let's use for instance this package, this test trajectory. Uh, yeah, I'm going to create a new file. Uh, plan name it pose.py, for instance. So let's come here and I'm going to paste the code, the code here. Sorry, there we are. So as you can see here, I'm setting values for the for the for the end effector. I'm setting a, a x, y, z, and a w. So, but okay, what should I do if I want to instead of this plan to a named pose? In this case, that start pose we saw in in the movie package. So what should you do? It's very 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 simple. You will see. All you need to do is basically. Okay, you can take out all this, you don't need it, so I'm going to comment it, and then here, all you have to do is to change this line which says uh, set post target, it's uh, from this group which is defined here, which is the group arm, the planning group arm, yeah, for this group, instead of set post target, you have to call to the function set name it target yeah and then inside here you buy you paste the name of the target you want to to plan for in this case it's the start pose okay so it's super super simple as you can see let's save this code here and and let's test it, let's try to execute it. So first of all, we are going to need to launch the movie package. So let's launch this uh, my fetch movie config, my fetch planning execution. There we are. For this, uh, this will open the movie environment here, you will see. I would probably need to move with a command line. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so I'm going to move this uh, move it a screen. Let me execute here this command. This will move the move it screen here so that I can visualize it better. Great. So yeah, as you can see here, I have the fetch robot with the robotic arm in order to receive uh, to receive plants to receive commands so 
Let's try this code we have just created, which is named here plan named post. So let's try it. Okay, so let's exec execute here this plan named post Python code. So let's uh, do a rush run test trajectory plan named post.py. There we are. Let's execute this piece of code. There it is. And now here in movie we should see that the our arm starts planning to that position. There we, there it is. There we have it. So it's planning to the goal to the start, sorry, named position. The position we we configured, we set when we were creating the movie package. Yes? There we are. So yeah, that's it. Basically this is the 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 goal of the video is to see how to do this. And as you can see it's very very simple. All you need to do is to call to this function function, set name at target, and then pass the name of the of the post target you have defined it in Movit. Yeah? So it's as simple as this. Then if you want to here we are just planning, but if you want to if you wanted to execute also this trajectory, you just have to you can have a look here. At the end of the unit it's explained how to do this. So you have to call this group go wait. Yeah? So here after planning for instance, you could call here to the group go, okay, in order to execute this trajectory. So, for instance, uh, let's try it. Let's put here a group go. There we are. <clears throat> so, let's execute again this, uh, this code here, this play plan name at pose and we are going to plan again you will see here it is still it's planning and after uh, a few seconds it will execute this trajectory here in the in the simulation so let's let's see it, it uh, takes some time because I have here also some slips and there it is Okay, so it's now executing that trajectory. Yeah, it's going to this start pose. Yeah, which is this one here, the one you define it here at the beginning of the unit at the first exercise here. This start pose. Yeah, as you can see. And well, that's all for this video. I hope it has help, helped you. So if you have liked the video, please uh, leave a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel also. We keep publishing content like this every day. So yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.